Hi, I'm Dr. Irfana Koita, Fertility Consultant. I'm now going to talk to you about PGD or pre-implantation genetic diagnosis. Now, some of us may be carriers of genetic disorders or alternatively, we may have a child who is affected with a genetic condition such as thalassemia. In order to have a pregnancy which does not carry these genetic problems, one would require to have IVF treatment and in addition, we would need to biopsy the embryos in order to look for the genetic condition to ensure that the embryo we are putting back does not have the disorder. Hence, PGD or pre-implantation genetic diagnosis involves doing IVF treatment, which involves having ovarian stimulation, collecting the eggs from the ovaries, creating the embryos, and then biopsying these embryos in order to look for the genetic disorder. So typically the test or the biopsy is performed on a blastocyst, which is a day five embryo. The cells from within the blastocyst are sent over to the genetic lab for analysis. The lab then looks for the condition which one is a carrier for, looks for embryos that do not carry the condition or not affected by the condition and once we've pinpointed the embryos which are free of disease these embryos can then subsequently be safely put back into the womb cavity with the hope of having a child that does not have a genetic condition common conditions that one would want to screen for are cystic fibrosis, thalassemia, sickle cell, and of course in families where they have a high predisposition for cancer genes such as the breast cancer gene, we would recommend that you have the genetic testing and ensure that you do not pass on the condition to any child that you bear. Good luck and take care.